Hello, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Deluxe video. This is the continuation of the last video. And that means Will is still getting wins. Yeah, he's still getting wins. This is going to take forever. But while I am doing this, I would actually like to draw attention to her. Well, I think my voice in these videos does sometimes get a bit weak. And that's why I do repeat myself sometimes because if I don't sound clear, I should probably make sure what I'm saying is clear enough. But I also want to make sure that my words get out. It bothers me that my voice would be somewhat weak while recording these, even with the consumption of water. And because, well, I have, I'm talking a lot. This is my way of expressing myself. But I, I do have an idea of why my voice is so weak. Part of it is I've just never been that talkative. Yeah, yeah, imagine that. Imagine me not being very talkative. You really would not know that I've never, that I've ever not been before this. Yeah, YouTube basically, um, I basically turned into the, into this stereotypical Gemini moon because I've got this channel and now I can't shut up. <laughs> but there is, there is another reason that I hate my voice being weak because I want, I want to know how to sing. And I know there are definitely, um, ways to improve your voice, but... I mean, I just, the last time I tried singing, I was like, oh my god, that is horrible. And I tried to Google it. I was like, why does my voice suck? <laughs> yeah, pretty much something along those lines. And Google came up with the rest. And um, I was like, okay, so it seems that the terminology here is my voice gets weak. Yeah, it does. When it, when, yeah, when I sing, my voice gets kind of weak. And it's kind of stupid, and I hate it. So I imagine that there are some exercises I can do to address that, but I don't think there's an, I don't think there are enough exercises that can um, adjust my talking skills with. Uh, uh, let's just say I went from very quiet to very talkative very fast. Yeah. And now this, this is mainly out of necessity, by the way. This is a coping skill. Like, obviously I should be able to express myself normally without needing a YouTube channel, but uh, I decided to keep doing this for whatever reason. By the way, I'm almost, to, I'm almost at 200 gigabytes of, of space just by making YouTube videos and um, it hasn't been three months yet. Now I'm sure I can at least make it to Christmas, but uh, I'm starting to I'm starting to think I should save up money at least. I'm pretty bad at saving up money considering uh, considering Social Security's policies. I'm not that great at saving up money because they kind of don't encourage financial responsibility. They encourage staying in poverty if you want benefits and I'm like dude isn't it a good thing if you don't I mean there's there's we need to make sure you need these benefits and there is just wanting people to not be able to get off them like how am I is how do I get off benefits if I can't real if there's so much of a threat to lose them like I get it. You need to make sure that people aren't taking advantage of the system, but um, you can do that without destroying people's lives, can't you? Like, I'm not on Social Security because I want to be. I'm on. I get benefits because I need that guaranteed healthcare coverage. I need it. It's not because I want it. It's because I just need it. I need the medication. I need it. And even if I could work, I would still need it. So um, I don't really feel motivated to try to improve and get better at 
at regular job skills considering how things are for other people right now. But let's just say that. Yeah, I know how jobs tend to be for people in this country. And I'm like, um, if people in this country are not guaranteed healthcare coverage because they, even at their job, do I want a job? Um, no, I don't feel like I don't feel like there's enough security for that. Like, sure, I might have financial security for a month, but then what? Then I have nothing. So it's not really in my best interest to be like, hmm, my mental health has improved a little. Maybe I should try to get to a point of being able to work. Well, yeah, ideally at some point, but not while I can't, not while I'm at the risk of being unable to support myself. And also, while we're on the topic of this, the, re the whole reason I hate the limit is, well, I do, I mean, things come up. Things come up. And shouldn't people on Social Security and Medicaid and Medicare be able to save up for those emergencies. Shouldn't they be able to do that without be, without the risk of losing them? I mean, especially the elderly, but also the disabled, regardless of your age. Like, come on, this is just stupid. Yeah, so, uh, I still want to be a writer right away. I still want to be a writer, but... But with the, way with the way Social Security is set up, it's like, we want you to work, but they don't really reward you for trying. Instead, they actually punish you. And it is the dumbest thing ever. Like, sure, thanks. Y you can call, you can say, you can call up people and say, are you still disabled? But do you know how many people are going to just say yes to that when you ask? Um, I would assume most people. Yeah, I would assume most people would say, I'm still disabled. So I don't know how many people you've taken benefits away from Social Security, but uh, I would assume those people are not in a very good place right now. Some of them may even be gone in the next world because of you because of the way things are set up in this country so yeah now anyway on a brighter note sort of i am actually still contemplating what's right for national novel writing month and now unfortunately i can't just take ideas from this franchise because i'm not very good at making card games i mean i'm not very good at writing card games it's not very easy, especially with trading card games, which is probably where the difficulty actually kicks in. I don't have the energy to describe certain things in depth, okay? I mean, if we're talking about the Five of Diamonds, well, everyone knows what the Five of Diamonds looks like. So when it comes to standard card games, those are probably much easier to write. But, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. <laughs> My hand sucks. I only got one monster and I still managed to win with it. Dude, there's nothing in my graveyard. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I won again, so um, I'm going to add that to the counter. Now this is, well, let's just say this is, I don't necessarily like, I don't like doing this. I mean, it's not, it's not actually the fact that I'm forced to play as Leo. I mean, I would hate this regardless. I'm going to duel these guys. I'm going to auto duel for, for a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to take a break. Because this is a grind and I hate grinding. Well, actually, that's not entirely true because I do grind quite a bit. But, um, 
that's I mean that's his choice babe. I like choosing when to grind and when not to grind. And this game, well, I I definitely have the option of choice, but I want to unlock everyone. Of course, after that, I then had the challenge of creating decks. Complete decks. And let me tell you something. I may have... I may end up with enough gems to make some good decks, but, uh... That doesn't mean a whole lot. Yeah, I'll be honest there. It doesn't mean a whole lot. Because... Yeah, I can make a bunch of decks, but I'm probably going to be having massive indecision. And I'm trying to branch out, but we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, um, I'm just gonna walk around, see if anyone's... Okay. Dude, this is Leo doing himself. Yeah, this is Leo doing himself. I, I guess we'll see some of his actual deck. Now, I know what Leo actually uses, and he can definitely destroy you. <laughs> yeah, his deck is brutal. Although, I guess if you're good enough, his support is also outdated. But I'm not sure if I'll ever be that good at this game. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like unlocking characters, well, not characters, getting cards. I like playing the game, but, uh, at the end of the day, I am never going to be one of the most competitive people around. Though maybe one day that will not, that, maybe one day that will no longer be true. I just don't know. Okay. Well, my change of insects go to the graveyard because it was stolen. Yes, it was stolen. So, did you like that duel against yourself, Leo? <laughs> yeah, did you like that duel against yourself? Okay, so he has 16, so there's 69 wins now. To anyone watching this, um, keep in mind that a number is just a number, okay? A number is just a number. Humans are what give numbers their meaning and their value. Although I, I still hate them. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not a math person. I am never going to be a math person. Okay. Um, I want to know how many turns I last. I'm going to die, but how many turns do I last? I'm going to assume two at maximum. I'm going to assume three maximum, actually. Okay, I start, so I assume... No, my opponent... Okay, I'm not... Okay, I think I'm dead now. Yeah, I'm not... Oh, God. Yeah, I am... Oh, my God. I'm dead on turn two. Well, I'm going to be honest, I kind of expected this. <laughs> I mean, I didn't come into this knowing that I... Thinking that I could win. I came into this wondering how, how many turns am I going to last. <laughs> I lasted two. I mean, three, actually. But, you know. That was brutal. And, yeah, I still want to make a deck for Kite. Temporarily. Temporarily. <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds so bad. But if anyone has watched Zuxel, they know who I'm talking about instead. And they know what the temporarily is from. And, I mean, you heard me complimenting. You heard me talking about Chris's hair, okay? So don't act like you don't know who I'm talking about. If you've watched Zuxel, you know. But I can also just, I can also just make a normal deck for Kite. He can keep his deck and, yeah, well, I, he can keep his deck, sure, but I can tell you right now, he's not going to be one of the main people I play as.
You know, I wonder how many other decks are going to vibe with me. I am still surprised about the Elemental Heroes vibing with me. <laughs> of all cards, I mean, of all decks, like, I'm pretty sure I would have been like, I vibe with that deck. No, I don't. I would have said that years ago. I probably would have said that, like, three months ago. <laughs> I probably would have said this on day one when I started playing this game. Now, I, I am pretty good at using the Blue Eyes White Dragon, but, um, it gets kind of boring using the same strategies over and over. And I guess the game is like, the meta is the meta. You must conform to the meta. And I'm just like, no, darlings, I'm not conforming to anything. Um, can you guys stop? Appearing, dear God, these guys are everywhere. I'm going to end up with oh, I'm going to end up with thousands of keys. Yeah, I'm going to end up with thousands of keys. Um, did I count that last one? Yeah, I'm sure I did. Okay. Well, guys, these opponents are complete wimps. Now, I know that this is not going to be the case for the extra runes. Because they're meant to be harder. So, um... I'm assuming that harder means more waves. But that may not be true. That could also mean more life points per wave. That could mean anything. I haven't seen them. I wasn't here for the first run of the event. I'm not even sure when the first run of the event was. I just know there was one. And I knew about it before this before um this event started because I saw some Ring King Jaden in a Ring Duel once. And now I have him unlocked. Anyway, I find it I, I really like this event because um I don't know, there's just something about it that's very interesting. I think it's the dungeon style. Yeah, I think it's the dungeon style. Um, are you guys kidding me? Dude, there are, okay, you know what, no. Dude, you guys, dude, you know better than this, Leo. You are not this stupid. That's right. I'm coming after you now. I was convinced. I was, I was. I had to get off auto duel because because of you guys, because of you guys and just, Leo. You really know better than this. You should know better. I know you're a kid, but you're not that young. Come on. Um. I don't. Oh god. Yeah, I think it was too late by the time I... Well, I lost that. Thanks very much, Leo. Actually, that was just the AI. The AI made some awful moves. Although, sometimes I do the same thing, so I'm like, I'm not much better than the AI. I mean, sometimes I'm even worse than the AI, to be honest. Okay, um... I guess one of those is for getting Leo to level 20. Okay, there's only one of them. I mean, there's... what? I've logged in for 50 days. Um... Which time zone are you up? Dolinks, you're confusing me. Five... Fifty days, dude. You... You claim... To be using my time zone. But then you're like... A total of five... Okay, fine. I mean, I'm just saying. 
I played for 50 days. Well, 50 day logging in for 50 days started for like it started past one, past midnight. Okay, well, hopefully I win this. Okay. No, I'm actually interested what she says if she wins, but I hope she doesn't. I never want this girl to win. I have no monsters. All right. I really am not trying to tempt the universe to just make me lose. But even... Thank you. Finally. I do a monster. I was terrified there for a second. Um, why didn't you play the monster in your hand? Okay, well, now he has. I mean, I'm just looking at some of these moves and I'm like, you know, you're, you may be a child, but you're not that. You're not that young and kids are not stupid. I mean, that's always been my thing. Like, um, I get mad when people act like children just don't know anything. Like, um, you do realize that they aren't stupid. Kids have their own identities. They are their own people. They are conscious. Like, you can't just decide who they are for them. And if you try to do that, well, they'll probably just hate you. You know, they'll probably just hate you. So, yeah. I really think that some children deserve better parents. And also, some children currently being shielded. And some children deserve better parents. But there are other children that, um, could honestly be better. But, um, I mean, you can't make every child behave. And not every child is going to actually listen. I mean, that's how you get to situations that I'm in right now. Like, like um, the, like part of the reason this channel was started, for example. Man, I feel like I'm walking- I feel like I'm walking on eggshells a lot. And you know how I feel about those eggshells. You guys know how I feel about those eggshells. I don't have a positive opinion of eggshells. You know, I don't even- I don't even have a positive opinion of physical eggshells. Like, um, we're over here talking about eggshells as a figure of speech, but... If I'm trying to crack an egg, I'm like, I don't want the shell in- Oh god. Yeah, I, I hate anything that involves eggs as an ingredient. No, I can use it as an ingredient, but it's, it's painful because, like, I have to be very careful. D do you know how difficult that is? I am not a careful kind of person. Like... It's pretty obvious. It, I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? I mean, I would think that's obvious. I mess up a lot. And, um, I wouldn't be making so many billing errors if I was, uh, the kind of person that was careful. I mean, usually I'm pretty careful, but, uh, in some cases, well, I'm not necessarily as careful as I should be. <laughs> Which includes cooking, like, um, do I need this ingredient? Well, um, can I cook this item without, without messing up, without messing up? Okay, well, yeah, well, yeah, there's this entire process I have to go through, like, if I want something, well, am I able to cook it successfully? If I have to put it in this, in the oven, well, can I take it out successfully? There is a lot that goes into this. And I may be an I may be an adult, but I make mistakes like I'm I make mistakes like I'm still a ten year old or something every now and then. It's kind of weird. But again, I don't always feel like an adult anyway. But that's just because of the situation I'm in. 
Oh, I seriously. I've I've been to therapy for a long time, but I mean, I don't think there's any amount of therapy that can entirely fix this. No, I, I can try to fix it myself by um being able to cope with this stuff better, but that is part of what this channel is for. Yeah, part of that is what this channel is for. Okay, so I've, I'm past the 70s, which is good. That's very good. So depending on how hard it is to unlock Luna, after I get her unlock missions, that could either be part of the video or the next one. It'll probably be the next one. I'm just saying that now. Um, I don't have any monsters. Wow. Can I at least draw one? One that can be summoned or just a normal one. Um, that is not a monster. My deck is like all the spells. No, not all of them. I need a monster. Thank you. I really, really like when I get things that I want in these duels. Sometimes I, it requires patience to get things in duels, but hold on a second. Why do you, Oh, okay, um, I'm not going to like this, am I? Well, I need, dude, this polymerization is, this entire, this duel is throwing me off. Like, what? Okay, I normal summon this guy. I normal summon the Gemini monster. It's the only monster I've drawn. I've got a lot of blue keys, so dueling against Shusei is definitely better than dueling anyone with any other color. But we know that I've... Oh, Chainsaw Insect. I love that card. At some point, I hope to get another one, but I really ha need to have some other priorities besides Chainsaw Insect. I got one. I can wait to get... I can wait to get more. I should focus on at least some good decks. Which is why I started working on the, uh, on a Blue Eyes deck. Yeah, I'm actually starting with a Blue Eyes deck. Um. Okay, I just had to make sure that the math added up. Okay, well, it does, it makes sense. Okay, well, and now that I have double checked my math, I would just like to say that, I mean, as much as I freak out over pretty much every unlock requirement, I have still done those. Like, and like, you can't deny that. Like, you've seen me freak out over a lot of things, but... I still do the unlock requirements, and I still do things in the game. And I mean, it, it's nice when I actually, dude, I, well, at least that's something I can summon in a second. I have a hard time believing that Yusei has no card, has no monster in his hand. I could just put that in defense position, but all I'm trying to do is win duels. Okay. I'll probably um, get to around 85 wins before I end the video. I now have a monster, so please don't destroy it. Dear Lord.
I like how my opinion of certain characters has changed just by playing this game. Y yeah, not by watching their series, just by playing the game, just by playing a mobile game. Yeah, sure, that makes a lot of sense, but, I mean, that's how it's, I mean, yeah. I think it does say a lot, though, because with a lot of these earlier series, it just, I mean, the change, I mean, obviously, I'm not a child anymore, so my opinion of DM would be different compared to when I was, and when I was. So obviously my opinions of some characters would be different as an adult versus a child. But this is definitely going to be the case for the later series as well. Except for Varane's. Varane's is probably going to stay around the same. Well, to be fair, actually, um, I think my opinion of Soulburner is probably a bit better than it was. But, um, I, I just don't, I mean, that's just because things are weird. I can't really explain these things. I guess you can just explain these things by acknowledging that people change. Some of them. Yeah, some of them. Some people don't change. And that's always, uh, that can be a problem. That can be a very big problem. Okay. So, 75 wins, 25 left. As far as my counting goes, there, there are a lot of counters being kept here. But like, with the margin of error. Now, if I add the margin of error to this, there are 78 wins. But if I imagine one or more of these wins, then I will then obviously I will know that at some point. And now obviously if some of those wins were not imagined, then I won't then I will get to 100 and then but I won't get to 100. It'll I will be in the 90s probably and I will have been unlocked depending on how off I am. But I would rather be behind. I mean, I'd rather be ahead than behind. I mean, obviously. Now I, now, I don't really need to record myself doing this over and over, but let's just be honest. This channel is pretty much where, I, where I'm expressing myself. And pretty much the main source of that expression. Like, I can't always talk about anything and everything just because I want to. But I can. I can. Give me a second. I can just play this game. And now part of me playing this game is, well, one, I need content to start with. But second, it's, I can talk about a lot of things. I can do a lot of things. And it's easier to express myself if, if the method I am using is not to be critical or ventful. Well, I can vent about things that happen to me in this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, just don't involve the certain someone that uh put those eggshells on the floor yeah pretty much that but i also have to be honest again because um i mean i'm not perfect either and i pretty much i mean it's hard to keep myself under control around someone in this house because, uh, sure, sure, I can do my best, but I've got a limit, and I don't even know what that limit is. So I'm not even sure if I can predict when it'll happen, or be reached. And I can certainly try to avoid even reaching it. I can do my absolute best. But it's kind of stupid that I can't talk about someone from Sevens, because... 
of the drama that could ensue afterward. I'm like, dude, it's not my fault that that. It's not my fault that. Yeah, whatever. Maybe the dev will change her name so I can talk about her. You know what I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. I mean, if you know what, if you know what seven to eight is. But yeah. Unfortunately, I have to do some very strange things. Because otherwise, I will just make everything worse. And dear God, I should not do that. I should not make anything worse. Self-control. I must exercise great self-control. Um, but I can also still express myself in a way that will allow me to not go insane. So I maintain stability by expressing myself on this channel. Um, okay. Man, I'm getting so tired of Leo winning. I mean, if I was playing as anyone else, I would get tired of playing as them too. I mean, I got tired of playing as Kyber, even though he's basically everywhere. And this is my problem with the meta. I'm like, well, I can go between each of the decks that are part of the meta, but what if I just get tired of all of them? <laughs> you know, what if I just get tired of all of them? It's kind of an issue where, sure, something's meta, but that doesn't mean I want to play it. That, that doesn't mean I want to play it. But this is going to be a pretty fast throw. I like that. Oh, you know what? Yes. This card is awesome. I love it. And now I can just summon the other plies with just no ancient rolls. Although I will need them first. You know, compared to where this, compared to where the card game is, normal monsters actually are pretty ancient. I mean, at this point, even I'm starting to become a bit ancient in some people's lives. I mean, it depends who you compare me to. Obviously, I'm not a minor anymore, so uh, Yu-Gi-Oh isn't isn't targeted toward me anymore. But that doesn't stop me from watching Sevens or any other future series in Yu-Gi-Oh. That does not stop me at all. It has never stopped me. And it won't ever. Although. There is one way to stop me, and that's by, well, the series is ending. There will be no further series in the franchise, but I don't think Konami would just do that. I think Konami wants the anime to continue for as long as possible. It gets some money. Yeah, it gets some money by showing off their products. I, I, I can make it, I can make it. How many duels have I done as Leo today? I do not know, but I've done a lot. So I hope that I've been counting correctly and I understand what I'm supposed to do correctly because I do end up paranoid about that kind of thing sometimes. It doesn't necessarily make sense, but it, it can happen like that. I really need a monster that I can summon. So, do I just let him attack me? I, I think I will. I can afford some damage. I should save my cards for when I'm actually in trouble. Okay. Well, I'm going to use this card. But there's basically no other opportunity for me to use it. So that's why I used it. Uh, 
Okay, well, I'm just gonna let you attack me then. Though, ideally, I will not be, I will not be in danger. Can I just draw the monster, please? That is not a monster. That is the opposite of a monster. Dear Lord. <laughs> Why do I keep drawing all the spell cards? Is it, is this game trying to tell me something? I don't know, it's probably trying to say something like, you play this game a lot. Something like that. But it's also just RNG, just RNG. This is, okay. This is ridiculous. Like, am I just going to get to the point where I end up being able to win purely off effect damage because I didn't draw a single monster? Please tell me that's not going to be what happens. I need a monster. I drew one, finally. So strange that I start. I don't even know if I can pronounce that name right. I don't even know if I can pronounce English right these days. That's what happens when you type a lot of words, say a lot of words, and also you you read a lot of words. Yeah, um, I haven't read as much as I said words and written words, but I've definitely done some amount of reading. And some English words just cease to look like words after a while. I'm just gonna be honest. I mean, I guess that just says a lot regarding how much I've said. Okay. Ugh. I mean, I do have some dual orbs, but I don't want to use them. I might need them for something else. I mean, obviously, I haven't finished getting characters unlocked in the world. But I also need to get some keys. Because I've used a lot of them in this world. But I'm not really sure why I would need keys. <laughs> okay, I won again, I won again. I'm very close to just 80 win to just 20 wins left. One win left and and then I can and then I'm just going to end the video. And then the next video will have the final wins that I need. I don't know, you say grinding do dueling by grind is not very fun. You know, I can't even, I can't even play a card game in order to survive. Like, I can't even do what Jack can do. But though I can probably write pretty successfully. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, I type a lot of words. I am a word producing machine. You guys know this though, because I've already, I mean, I've proven it. There's so much proof on this channel already. <laughs> I like when my opponent destroys his own, destroys their own trap or their own spell because of those ninja cards. I love when they do that because it's hilarious. It's like, well, you walked into that. Okay. Ugh. This is definitely a huge grind, but I can do this. All right, back to the gate, but I have to end the video here and have at least some credibility. 
so this is where the video ends in the next video i'm going to win 20 more times but that doesn't mean i'll get i'll be doing 20 more times that's just how many i'm hoping i just hope to get luna's unlock mission to next video for now that's it and that's it i will be back shortly I need to drink some water though, so I'll be back after I drink enough water.